1998. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about two thirds of the way through 2024. And so I thought it would be a good time to take a look at the current you know, champions of the WWE and see who I think is going to hold that title belt, whatever, at the end of the year. When a ball drops, we about to ring at 2025, who will be staying tall as champion? And don't worry, there's going to be some, you know, kind of duh answers, but there might be a few surprises. So, but before that, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Helps me out a ton. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already on a road to hundred subscribers. And I would like to hit, definitely hit that by end of year. You know, by 2025 when the ball maybe get to 200 who knows it's all up to you so but if you do thank you so much if you're already subscribed appreciate you but uh without further ado let's get into the video and i'm gonna be grouping these by uh uh by show so we're gonna do nxt raw and then smackdown and after that in order it's just whatever title came to mind so with that let's get into nxt starting off at the nxt heritage cup currently held by charlie dempsey of the no quarter catch crew i think they're still called that and this one was kind of hard because kind of went left field i could have gone uh maybe tony d'angelo again charlie dempsey to hold it till uh end of the year no Dar maybe come back and get it but i'm going towards somebody from chase U holding the title holding the heritage cup at a year so i went with i could have gone duke hudson almost did but I think Riley Osborne is going to hold the uh, Heritage Cup at the end of the year. I think Chase U gets involved with the no quarter uh, once they're done with the tag titles. And we see, you know, Riley Osborne step up and grab the Heritage Cup to close the year out. Moving over to the NXT Women's North America title. I do uh, the current champion is Kalani Jordan. I say when the year ends, we have Sol Ruka as the champion now she could move on to the nxt women's title but i don't i think that might be fast tracking her a slight hair so i think by any year she does capture that title and go maybe goes on long reign for that so but so we good holds the title heading into 2025 the nxt women's champion currently roxanne perez and i was very le much leaning towards her just holding it to close the year out but i do think that one of the big names coming through either uh a julia or a stephanie vec here one of them holds it i'm leaning towards stephanie at the moment just because of the aew thing exposure that she was just wrestling with sasha banks mercedes monet and so they're going to kind of lean on that and more people may have that the name are still in their brains like the casual american fans so they're going to lean that way but Either one, Julia or Stephanie, if I care, either one could hold it and it, you know, makes perfect sense. Right now I'm going Stephanie. All right, the NXT tag team titles currently held by Chase U and left field shot. Give me Hank and Tank to hold the titles at the end of the year. I do think them getting prominent spots on like the backstage spot uh, spots. And I think, I think it's a commercial recently or something like that. Back uh, management sees something in them. They're funny, they're likable. And I think they get rewarded in a year. You know, once Chase U's done with the tag title uh, and assume Nate, uh, Frazier and Axiom don't stay, unless the tag team's coming in, like rumors have it certain, uh, certain you know, a certain tag team from Michigan's coming through. But uh, unless that happens, I think if it's any homegrown talent, it's Hank and Take. Like, like I said, they're funny, they're likable, and it could be some great TV of their champs. So I'll go with them. North um, NXT North America title held by Oba Femi. I guess another one where I easily could see Oba holding it, honestly, till next year's stay and deliver or something like that. But damn it, I'm going to keep beating this drum until it happens reward the king i am calling for alexis king to get that title before the year is out by hook by crook cheating being slimy dirtbag that he is he will be nxt north america champion when 2025 rolls around and last but not least in nxt i have the nxt uh champion currently is ethan page this one i think all signs are pointing to trick williams at the end of the year getting back his title once trick is back you know with done with pete once ethan's done with joe hendry and maybe another challenger they might delay that i think when nxt goes to cw and because it's like september october 
they'll revisit that program. They want that to be the big program for the new network. Makes sense. Trick is their most over superstar. And sometime between now and when the ball drops, Trick Williams gets the title back and carries it into 2025. All right, moving on to Monday Night Raw. Start off with the Intercontinental title, currently held by Braun Breaker. And I legitimately went back and forth went back and forth with two answers here. Is either Braun Breaker holds it till the end of the year and leads into Rumble or Mania with it. Or this superstar finds a way to uh, earn a title. And you know what? Let's take a shot. I'm, I'm saying that when 2025 rolls around, your Intercontinental Champion will be Dominic Mysterio. I think he, with Liv and the new Judgment Day, either through this tournament coming up or some other way, maybe they got a crown jewel or something, I think Dom finds a way to get a shot at the IC title. And Dom finds a way to win it it's funny Braun is in that sammy if he was the heel but he's starting to get uh baby face cheers because people are liking what he's doing i think WWE sees that they capitalize they capitalize on that and they pull the trigger uh bronco's full face and what better way to go full face than against someone like dom mysterio who is is not arguably he is the most hated person in the business right now like state like on screen hate not like actual hated person in the business right now so yeah Don Mysterio goes into 2025 your IC champ all right the world tag team titles currently held by Finn Balor and JD McDonough of the Judgment Day and you know these titles have not been getting love recently I do think that WWE puts more of an emphasis on the tag team scene close out the year. So we'll see more, hopefully at least one title match on the PLE between now and what like rumble. Once this, once these guys are done with their current feud, I think they get more of a push into the tag, uh, tag tile scene and they capitalize and get it. And so I'm going to say that at the end of the year, American maids, the uh, the Creed brothers, uh, Julius and Brutus. I think they hold on to gold at the end of the year. I think once they're done with the Wyatt Six, they get beat up, they get taken off TV for a bit, come back, win like a tournament or something of a uh, contender, something like that. They come back and they take out whoever beats the Judgment Day for the the tag toss. I don't think they're holding it till they're holding it till November, December to lose to American Man. I think there's a, a baby face transitional champion in there. I don't know who at this point, but there may be also truth again. Who knows? I don't know. But yeah, American Maid holds the title heading into the new year. The women's world championship currently held by Liv Morgan. And this one is don't use uh, too much brain power into it. It's gonna be Rhea. Rhea gets the title back at some point over the fall and hold it till mania where they set up a big match whether it be a bianca or a charlotte um Rhea gets her revenge soonish maybe not like within a month but you know at some point Rhea just whoops that ass that is Liv morgan gets her title back and holds it to 2025 and last but not least we have the world heavyweight championship currently held by gunther and that World Heavyweight Championship currently held by Gunther will stay being held by Gunther. He does not lose here. I think we are in for a historic reign on his end. Not as long as Roman, but there's a stat somewhere. I saw it online. It's like Gunther has been a champion more for longer than he hasn't been since coming to the company, which is insane. I don't, I don't think that trend stops. Gunther is going to hold this title for a damn long time, and he definitely ends the year as champion. All right, heading on to SmackDown. And I, for SmackDown, since I threw the Speed and the WWE Women's title on SmackDown purely because those the superstars that currently held it, I believe, are SmackDown superstars. But honestly, who cares? Um... So let's start off with those. I had the speed champion currently is Andrade and a year. Who gives a fuck? Okay. This title, it's cool for X. Um, it gives people a chance to do something that 
gets in front of eyeballs. I'm not hating on the concept. I just, I do. I also do appreciate that it's almost not canon to the normal the shows, like the normal weekly shows. I do appreciate that. Looking at you, 24/7 title. But uh, fuck it, we'll we'll throw Pete Dunn in there. Pete Dunn's your speed champion at the end of the year. The WWE Women's Tag Team Champions currently held by Unholy Union, and I think when it's all said and done, the year, the let's see if I get this right, the Pure Fusion Collective. I think I get it right. Will hold the titles. Um, right now, they're kind of challenging for uh, they're with Damage Control, but they're also kind of challenging for the titles. Unholy Union is in a fight with Jade and Bianca. There's, it does not benefit the uh, division for Jade and Bianca to have the titles because they'll just turn into world beaters, beating everybody in front of them again. I think Pure Fusion at some point gets the titles. And if done right, they can help solidify an actual competent tag team division for the women, where there's actual solid teams, not two superstars thrown together. They, uh, Fight week in, week out, go through uh, the, the shows, fight in, uh, different teams. It's, I think so having established women's tag teams helps the division and having the champs be the, the stud squad, Pure Fusion Collective helps that. So I'm going to pick them to hold the titles to close out the year. United States title currently held by LA Knight. Yeah, uh, that doesn't change. LA Knight uh, is going to hold it. Now I could see like if he loses to a Carmelo Hayes, but like toward somewhere during the like, a bad blood or something. But if he does that, he gets it right back. LA Knight is going to hold the title heading to Royal Rumble and potentially WrestleMania. We'll see on how long the reign is. But yeah, LA Knight is closing the year out as your United States champion. Yeah. Uh, real quick, this is Future Heart editing this thing, and the for some reason the audio got messed up during the women the uh, WWE women's title so real quick uh currently the champion is Nia Jax but come end of year I do believe it would be Bianca Belair I don't think Tiffany cashes in on Nia I think they tease 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 but don't really do it and I don't see Bailey winning it again anytime soon I think it's too early for Jade you can kind of see a Charlotte but Truth be told, I know Charlotte was drafted as SmackDown. She might be better served at this point on Raw. Who knows? But for right now, yeah, I do see Bianca going into 2025 as the WD Women's Champion. All right, future hard out. WWE Tag Team Championships currently held by Bloodline. That doesn't last long. Um, I think a certain Uso who got kicked out of the Bloodline after WrestleMania cost them the title coming up. So. Whenever that happens, you can either be like DIY, uh, Street Profits. If unfortunately A Town Down Under is still together, you could throw that uh, them in there. But I'm going to pick DIY, and you know my wish would be that uh, that DIY takes the titles off of the Bloodline, and you just let DIY and the Profits fight for a title to close the year out, and just match after match after match. Their number one contender match recently on SmackDown was absolute gold. And if you just let them fight and switch a title between each other for the rest of the year or next like several months leading into Rumble, you're not gonna get argument from people. It's just good ass wrestling. But yeah, DIY is gonna close the year out as champions. And last but not least for WWE, I guess, the WWE Championship currently held by Cody Rhodes. There's a strong, uh, a strong like argument for him to hold the title uh, for the end of the year, go into WrestleMania and defend it. But Cody's always been a one uh, for the swerve. I do think that if Cody beats who's lined up in front for end of the year out, you're going to get some, some people already turning on them. They're idiots. But more people are going to start turning on his reign. And the superstar that I think is going to close the year out deserves it. And Cody can always fight them at WrestleMania and be a marquee match. And no, not Roman, not The Rock, but the the Viper, the Legend Killer. I think when 2025 rolls around, your WWE Champion will be none other than Randy Orton. He climbs the mountains. He gets uh, closer to that record. I don't think he beats the world title record. 
but I think he gets closer. A heel Orton as WWE champion against the white meat baby face that is Cody Rhodes. Oh man, bad guy, good guy, Alt basically ultimate, betrayal, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be some good ass TV on Friday nights. Coming soon to USA Network. I think like the 13th of September. But yeah, Randy Orton closes out the year as WWE Champion. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments, who do you think is gonna close out the, uh, the year as champions? But again, go ahead and like the video, go ahead and subscribe. We are shooting for 100, but I'll take 1,000 subscribers for the year. But that's all I got for you guys. Uh, you can find me on at all socials at it's heartfelt. But for right now, I am just heartfelt. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.